What is up, comic fam? Welcome to the Legion of Comics. I'm Mark, and today we're taking a look at this coming week's new comic book day and find out what books made it to the Legion list. But before I do that, check this out. Huge thank you to Big Time Collectibles for sponsoring the channel and supplying the books for the monthly giveaway for the channel members. If you have not checked them out at BigTimeCollectibles.com, you are missing out on some of the hottest retailer exclusives in the game. You can also follow them on Instagram or Facebook. And if you need anything cleaned or pressed, look no farther. Justin Comic on Instagram can take care of you. Be sure to use that promo code WEARLEGION and take advantage of the special offer that he's got running right now. All right, let's get into it. So this week is not very big for me. There are just a few titles, but I'm excited about each and every one of them, as well as a special book that I'll save for the end. But first off, right off the bat, we have Detective Comics, issue number 1057. Mariko Tamaki is continuing her Shadows of the Bat epic 12-part series. It's been dropping weekly, and that last issue, it really hit the fan. A uh, lot of violence going on in the tower. We saw what happened and what befell Dr. Fate. We see that Scarecrow actually came out, and he's uh, taking charge of everything. And we saw a return to Gotham of a very, very popular character. I'm not going to spoil it, but it should be pretty obvious. So it's awesome been seeing the Bat family operate as much as they have been doing. And it looks like it's really about to turn up a notch in this Descent into Fear chapter. So next up, we have Nightwing, issue number 90. So we just saw that two-part crossover with Nightwing and Superman, a.k.a. Jonathan Kent. Now we're getting into the next two-part crossover. I don't know if it's going to cross over, but it's a two-part series guest starring Wally West Flash. With the events that have been going on with Dick Grayson in Bloodhaven, he's made a lot of enemies, and there's a lot of people out to get Dick Grayson. So he's enlisting the help of some friends. He puts out a call for help, and the first one to respond is none other than the fastest man alive, Wally West. I'm excited to see the dynamic between these two. Uh, Flash is a pretty comical character, so I think it'll play well with Tom Taylor's writing. He did fantastic with the crossover with Jonathan. And speaking of The Flash, we have The Flash number 780 coming out this week. And this is going to be part three for the War of Earth 3 epic event that's been going on. This is crossing over the Crime Syndicate, Suicide Squad, Teen Titans, as well as The Flash. And I was wondering how The Flash was going to tie into this. And it looks like the Teen Titans Academy enlists his help to get them to Earth 3 to go look for a missing member of the Academy. So when he gets there, he's faced with more danger than he expected with Johnny Quick hot on his heels. So I'm excited to see the crime syndicate more than anything. And it's awesome when you get to see characters like The Flash meet their evil opposite, Johnny Quick. So I've definitely been pumped for this. Uh, the first two installments were very good. If you missed out on them, War of Earth 3, issue number one, as well as the last issue of Suicide Squad, it is not too late to catch up. They're action-packed and loaded with content. Do not miss out on this event. Next up, guys, we're almost there. This is issue 74 of Justice League. 75 is the one that's been talked about for months now with the death of the Justice League. So this is the finale of Leagues of Chaos Part 3. This is a big crossover with Justice League Dark as well as the regular team fighting the original Lord of Chaos. So I'm excited to see how this plays out. And more importantly, I'm excited for that next issue to see what Joshua Williams is going to do to lead us into the Dark Crisis. And last up from DC Comics, we have World's Finest issue number one by Mark Wade and Dan Mora. So this is a brand new series kicking off. It's basically the Batman Superman tie-in title. We typically have one of these running at all times. The previous one ended. I was wondering what was going on. And now we're coming back with uh, Batman Superman World's Finest. So this is supposed to be its own book. It's not contingent upon any other stories happening. It takes place in X amount of years in the past, which isn't necessarily relevant. Just the fact that it's not 100% current. Telling all kinds of good stories, I'm sure, over time. But starting us off, we're going to have an overpowered Superman uh, because of events of a fight with Metallo, having to reach out for help to Batman, as well as the Doom Patrol. So I'm excited to see how far they can really push this story, how many guest characters we get to see in it. And really, Mark Wade's return to the, uh, this title should be awesome. And then the only other book I have this week is one indie. No Marvel on my list at all, and that's Power Rangers issue number 17. Just like that last issue of Mighty Morphin, it's really just the... Uh, fallout from that Eltarian war and kind of just getting back on a regular playing field and moving forward so we'll get to see what the omega rangers are going to do about finding a resting place uh patching up their wounds and see where they're going to go from here now that the blue emissary is back we shall see so the big book that i wanted to mention that's really important dropping this week is none other than the J jla avengers uh book that is from the heroes initiative as everybody knows, George Perez is uh, not doing too well with cancer, and the Heroes Initiative reached out to Marvel and DC, and they brought out this, a very exclusive uh, collected edition of Justice League and Avengers. 
and it drops this week. I don't know if you'll be able to get one. It might be late in the game. They're already at ridiculous resale prices. Scalpers are going crazy over this. A lot of shops are doing a lot of different things to get the hands into their uh, into their actual shoppers hands versus like flippers and stuff. But uh, if you if you're on the if you go out, be sure to look out for it because this is a great collection. It's got all four issues of the story if you don't have them, as well as some original pencils from the JLA Avengers event that never happened that Jim Shooter actually uh, canceled. So there's all kinds of cool bonus content in it. It's a really good cause by buying one of these. You're actually helping to support George Perez's family directly. That's what the Heroes Initiative Project is for. It's for putting money into the pockets of the families of creators who are suffering from medical issues or medical expenses. So uh, be sure to be on the lookout for it. If you get your hands on it, definitely do that. I know I am. And then I got one announcement. Uh, this Sunday at 8 p.m., normally at 9, but we're moving down to 8 p.m. for at weeks. And I'll have the Miranda Brothers on the channel to talk about their brand new series, We Live Age of the Palladians. As you know, if you follow my channel, we were huge fans of that first series. We had the Miranda Brothers on at the uh, when the first series wrapped up. And they're coming back to talk about volume number two. So if you didn't find them last week, be sure to check out the shelves for We Live Issue number one, Black, as well as We Live. Issue number one, White. Two separate books kicking off this new volume of We Live. Both were fantastic. Highly recommend both of them. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're looking forward to picking up this week. What on that list looks awesome to you? And as always, uh, go over to the Comic Vets channel if you want to know what my top pick for this week is going to be. Where him and I have a video that comes out on his channel every Sunday telling you what each of our top pick is and why. So be sure to check him out, give him a subscribe, and be on the lookout for that video. Let's give a big thank you to the Augusta Book Exchange. They are the keepers of my comics, the guardians of my pool box. They always make sure everything I'm looking for is right there waiting on me every week when I go in. You'll find no better customer service anywhere. If you're ever in the Augusta area, be sure to stop by there. Tell Paul and Donna hello and let them know that we are Legion. And as always, until next time, guys, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.